Hello, Rome. It's great to see so many people here from Make a Fair Rome. Um, I'm David Gauntlet. I'm going to say some big, broad things about making. We've already heard about some particular technologies, great new ideas that are coming through. I'm not going to give you anything specific like that. And this is a point which has really struck me recently, the importance of small steps. Often when people are making political kind of messages, messages about how we can change the world, they always talk about really big things, you know, big sort of amazing change that we might hope will happen in the future done by somebody, but you can't do it yourself, it's just some big dream. And, and it's important to have big dreams, of course, we love big dreams, but as an individual, what can you do about that? I think the nice thing about the maker movement is that you can see lots of people taking small steps into a changed world, because you know, when you make something and you share it in the world, I think it's about sort of breaking with what society often expects. Because society often expects us, doesn't it, to be an audience of things or a fan of things. There's lots of great professionally made media and things in the world that you're expected to be an audience of. And, and that's fine, you know, there's lots of nice things to consume. But taking a step beyond being a consumer into a world where you're actually, you've made something, you share it in the world, people might like it, people might make a comment. Um, that's great, and it doesn't need to be big. You can do something that is only seen by two or three people. Uh, you can do something that doesn't look very professional, maybe, you know, maybe even compared to the work of other makers. It's a bit disappointing. You haven't become really great at making yet. That doesn't matter. The important thing is you've made something, you've put it in the world, and anything is great there. I think the thing about it is that what you've got is somebody saying, here I am, and they're saying, I made this. And it can be a very simple thing they've done. You know, they can be taking a very small step. But taking that step into a new world where you're actually a creative maker yourself, willing to share it with other people, get inspiration and ideas from them, give inspiration and ideas to them from the thing you've done yourself, I think that's really great. So you've got people just saying, here I am, I made this. And then, of course, for reasons that we've already talked about, people become part of communities, they get connected online. Then you do get less individualistically. Here we are, and we made this. And when you've got groups of people who are able to say that, they're participating in the world, they're making stuff, I think that's really great. That's maybe the thing that's most exciting about the maker movement. Another thing that's great about the maker movement, and you'll see it really at the maker fair, is that the people saying we made this is lots of different kinds of people all coming together. Um, you know, we're, we're all excited about Arduino and 3D printing and all the sort of high-tech stuff. But at the same time, at Maker Fairs, you'll see people um, doing, you know, knitting and craft stuff, making brilliant things just with their hands, with very simple technologies, but not high-tech stuff. And, you know, all kinds of different stuff. But all of it is part of the maker movement. That's the great thing. It's not like these people are more successful or more innovative than these people. These people are all doing great making things. That's what I think is inspiring about it. The little bird is there to remind me, as a, one of my two concluding points, that um, it's quite easy to dismiss people making things, isn't it? If you've just got like a person over here, they've made a robot. That's great, you know, well done them. But maybe that's not going to change the world. And you've got somebody over here, and she's knitted a good jumper. It's a lovely jumper, but it's not going to change the world. Because we don't think of either robots or jumpers as being things that are going to change the world in themselves. But all of these things together, all of these individuals doing something active, creative in the world, making something, putting it out there, sharing it with others, I think it really does add up to something really vital and significant. Um, you know, a, a society where people are not encouraged to be creative is like a tree cut off from its roots. It just withers and dies. And if we embrace the creativity, the creativity of the maker movement, um, you know, it's, it's fantastic for reinvigorating innovation. It really sort of gets society going again in all kinds of ways, both in terms of technology and innovation on that side and just getting kids excited about learning and making stuff as well. All of that is all part of the same thing, and it's all really exciting. Which brings me to my final point, which is just that passion that you see at maker fairs and in the maker movement. I think almost uniquely, um, in the maker movement, you've got all these people doing stuff just because it's what they want to do. They're not doing it for kind of any other reason. M mostly they're not doing it because they're trying to get qualifications. Mostly they're not doing it because they want to make a load of money, because that might not work. They're not really doing it because they want to gain high social status. 
That might not work either. They're doing it because it's the thing they love to do. They're really driven by passion, people who just want to make stuff and share it in the world. Um, and across all different kinds of activity as well, it's just that same driving passion. You ask people why they've made stuff, maybe like as a researcher from a university or whatever, you ask people why they made things, half the time they don't know. It's because they wanted to, because you could. You know, I wanted to impress my kid. I thought it'd be cool. Those are the reasons. I just wanted to do the thing. And that's what makes things really exciting, and I hope you'll see a lot of that at the Maker Fair here this weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you, David.